Hey guys, welcome to this week's video. We're gonna go ahead and pull a clutch of eggs, which I actually pulled on Thursday, uh, from Morticia, sired by Midnight Rider, some of my darkest Sumatran short-tailed pythons. Uh, very, very excited for these. Uh, Midnight Rider comes out of Jackson Pitch from the Blood Cell, and Morticia was produced here from Tuxin Incognito, so a lot of very, 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 very dark Sumatran goodness in there. Uh, also, as I promised you guys on my YouTube community tab, uh, we went ahead and did a guessing game. Some people are going to win some stickers. Three of you got the right answer. Uh, so you have to stay tuned to the end of the video. Make sure if you're one of the people that got the right answer, you go below in the comments and uh, let me know. I'll reply to you and we'll figure out a way to get that stuff to you. And uh, don't forget, guys, pay attention to the community tab. I've given away stuff uh, with most of the clutches this year uh, between the members only area and the regular community tab, so always be paying attention to that. Stay tuned. All right, so as I said, Morticia has laid her first clutch. Uh, I hatched Morticia in 2016 from Tux and Incognito. And uh, this is the first time I've actually had a snake use the nest box. Uh, I just felt like given Morticia being a little bit more of a high strung animal might be a good idea for her. Uh, so we'll take the top off here and you can see she put in some work. Beautiful, beautiful clutch. Um, and the funny thing is, Morticia is very sensitive to texture. Um, typically, I can't get her to go on substrate. She freaks out. I tried putting her on Repichip twice, and both times she got herself so upset she actually presented with signs of a respiratory infection, which immediately went away as soon as I removed the chip and put her back on the paper. Uh, she doesn't like to go out in the yard. She freaks out if you put her in grass. Um, the weird thing is, if you put her in plastic and it's bare plastic, she freaks out. But if she moves the paper herself and it's bare plastic, she's good. So she's just a little bit of a strange animal uh, in a lot of avenues. Uh, one of the nice things is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wipe her down on her belly with some chlorhexidine here and put her in the, on the paper side. And hopefully that will, uh, you know, I may not even have to give her a bath because with the nest box having the egg smell, I take the nest box out, give her a little wipe down, she might be good to go. Now it'll be interesting to see, I haven't had a short tail ever take a shot at me coming off of eggs, but if there's a female that's going to, it's going to be her. Uh, so we'll see how she's going to be here in just a second. Hi darling. That's a nice clutch for you. I didn't think you had it in you to have so many eggs. Come on, there you go, good girl. All right, so now, like I said, I'm gonna give her belly a quick wipe down here. Um, but you can see she put everything into those eggs, so we're gonna wanna get her on food fairly quickly, um, which I don't think she'll be a problem. And actually what I'm gonna do to make this really easy, I'm going to take the nest box out of here. And then I can just let her do her thing. Bear with me a second. Oh, thank you, darling. Right, I'll probably still give her a bath tonight anyways, when I have to go to work. Uh, this is actually gonna make me a few minutes late today, but it is what it is. All right, just over there so you guys can see what's going on. And we'll pull these and sort them. So a very, very nice clutch of eggs here for her. Um, she's, probably the smallest female I've ever bred. So I honestly felt like 10 would be the max I'd see, and I'd probably get about eight eggs out of her. We'll see what she did here. There's one. Once again, though, you guys see no slugs. Um, you know, I can't tell you enough how keeping these snakes trim and not putting them on a lot of heat has really done well for me. Um, you know? 
five clutches this year didn't have a single slug in them. Uh, Electra's clutch did, but Electra had a lot of complications. Um, but still, she only had a couple of clutch, uh, a couple of slugs. There's four. These are pretty big eggs for a Sumatran as well. Um, especially a Sumatran her size. It's crazy because if you looked at her the other day, you'd never think this many eggs could be inside of her body because she looked so small, even, even gravid. She looked thick, but small. I'm just trying to get all that sphagnum off. Not that it'll, the sphagnum moss won't hurt the eggs at all. I'm just, I like them to look as clean as possible. Oh man, I'm excited about these because this is a pairing that I've been anticipating doing since, you know, 20, 2016 when I acquired Midnight Rider, who's the sire, and I hatched Morticia. Oh, my dogs are going to go nuts because my ride to work is here. Uh, but yeah, so beautiful, beautiful clutch of 11 eggs. Very, very happy. Very excited. Um... You guys are going to have a chance on my YouTube community tab to win uh, another prize, which I've been doing with clutches all year this year. So if you guys don't pay attention to the community tab, you should. Uh, by the time you see this video, it's going to be too late to enter because I've already have run the competition. These legs are laid today on Thursday. Uh, this video is probably going to go up on Friday or Saturday. But uh, definitely pay attention to that stuff because I'm always trying to keep you guys engaged, interacting winning stuff, things like that. So now the 60 day countdown is on. Midnight Rider, Morticia, stay tuned. We'll see you guys. All right, so we'll just take a quick look at Morticia's eggs here. As you can see, there are 11. As I said, I believe they're very, very large eggs for Sumatran, surprisingly large. Normally I'd put eight to 10 eggs in these containers. Very, very surprised by the size of these eggs, but let's take a look at them. So now these were just laid this morning, but you can see decent veins there. Yep. You know, that's, that's a good egg. Same thing there. Very, very nice looking egg there. Now that one, the veins are a little bit weaker. You see a little bit more of a yellow color, but there are veins there. And at this point, you know, being so soon, not a concern at all. Still would consider that a good egg. Same thing here. Same there. So, so far, these all look, look good. No obvious duds or issues here. Nothing of any kind of concern at all. Even that one uh, does have veins. It's a little bit of a funky looking egg, but not bad funky. So all in all, all 11 look promising. No reason on day one that these should go south, so we'll keep an eye on them. And you guys will have to stay tuned and see the babies when they come out.